as we discussed about the Rutherford model of an atom, which he was able to uh, prove that model on the basis of his experiment. But you will be surprised to know that this mo that model actually failed due to certain limitations or the certain uh, facts which he failed to explain. So, one of the fact was we are going to discuss now and it was the important fact which the Rutherford model was failed to explain so, that was the on the basis of electromagnetic theory see we have a theory in physics that is electromagnetic theory this theory states actually this theory is applicable to all charged particles that whether the charge is positive or negative it this theory is applicable to all charged particles irrespective of the nature of the charge so what does this theory states this theory states that when any charged particle revolve in a circular path when any charged particle revolve in a circular path it em emit energy and the energy emitted is continuous so according to this theory i'm repeating it again just look at board carefully according to this electromagnetic theory any charged particle when revolve in a circular path whether the motion is clockwise or anti clockwise doesn't matter but whenever it is revolving in a circular path it continuously emit energy it was the proved fact in of physics by in the, um, which was stated in the theory electromagnetic theory so now if we apply this theory to the rutherford model of an atom which states that there is a nucleus in center and the negative charge is revolving around the nucleus this was the model which was given by rutherford so we apply this theory to this see if any theory is proved in physics or any subject it should be applicable to all the subjects right like see it is for the charged particle so wherever the charged particle is present that charged particle should obey this theory because it is the proof theory so we apply this theory to this charged particle of the negative charged particle of rutherford model so according to rutherford that this negative charged particle is also revolving in a circular path so that means it should also emit energy right and if it do so if it emit energy it should shorten its path like this see if this is the negative charge it is moving so it is losing the energy so that means it should shorten its path and should spiral down into nucleus as it is emitting energy energy continuously so that means any according to this theory if we apply this theory to here so any charged particle when revolving in a circular path so this negatively charged particle is also revolving in a circular path so that means it is emitting energy emitting energy that means it will shorten its path and then should it should i'm not telling it do i according to this theory if we apply it we say that it should spiral down its path and should finally fall into nucleus right but till date we haven't seen the negatively charged particle in the nucleus so how come this model can exist like like this that means the rutherford state that negative charged particle is revolving in a circular path and uh, it remain as such and we are able to see that negatively charged particle revolving in the same circular path it is not possible because according to electromagnetic theory when any charged particle revolve in a circular path it should continuously emit energy it is the proved fact okay so it will continuously emit energy and if it will do so that means it will shorten its path it path will get spiral because more and more it will move it will lose energy the path will be shorten shorten and it will be spiral down and finally it will fall into the nucleus and by uh, the time taken to fall into the nucleus will be very small and any scientist haven't seen the electron so far in the nucleus so that means the rutherford model was not a successful one he actually failed to explain the stability of such model so this was the main drawback of the rutherford so this was the reason behind that rutherford model actually failed so i repeat again for you just look uh, again 
this Rutherford model actually failed the drawback being that according to electromagnetic theory of physics any charged particle when revolved should emit energy so if we apply this theory to the Rutherford model which according to Rutherford the negatively charged particle is also revolving so when we apply this theory to this negatively charged particle so that means when it is moving in a circular path it should also emit energy should shorten its path should spiral down into nucleus and uh, when it spiral down the time taken for for it should be very small but we haven't seen the this negatively charged particle in the nucleus so far so that means Rutherford failed to explain stability of this his model which he compared with the solar system so that is why the Rutherford model failed but he was able to discover the nucleus which was accepted and in the present model also the Bohr model the second next attempt was made by Bohr Neil Bohr so in the Neil Bohr the nucleus uh, the, uh, the nucleus of the Neil Bohr model is the same and uh, even the, uh, the positive charge which the Rutherford said is present in the nucleus is the same so that means the Rutherford was able to discover the nucleus but the model was not successful because he was not able to explain the electron distribution exactly.